All right, here we go. The best teams in college lacrosse are gearing up for the road to the championship weekend. The NCAA tournament begins in just a couple of days, and the women of Loyola have a great shot of bringing home some hardware. WMAR2 News' Sean Stepner with the Greyhounds tonight. Sean. In the 49-year history of Loyola University women's lacrosse, there has never been a season like this. When the going gets tough, this team really finds a way to get going, and they're just unapologetically their own team in this year. They're the 2022 Loyola women's lacrosse team. A team that is 18 and 1. The 18 wins a school record. Their lone defeat by a single goal. They are one of three teams in the country with one loss or less. Now comes the final stage of the season, the most important stage, the NCAA tournament. Just knowing that it's win or go home obviously puts a lot of um, you know excitement in the air and just it's a lot of fun. We want the challenge and like we want to be able to prove ourselves and we want to be able to go out there and play better teams and play and just keep going and going and like proving how um, good of a team that we are and that we can be. Loyola is the number six seed overall. They host first and second round games at Ridley Athletic Complex this weekend. The three-time defending Patriot League champion vying for their first national title. They are the fifth highest scoring offense in the nation, tallying 16.68 goals per game. They allow the third fewest in the country, 7.58 per contest. That's like one of the best parts we have about our team is that we're not just one sided. Standing between the Greyhounds and the next round is in-state opponent Mount St. Mary's from Emmitsburg. They are back-to-back -back Northeast Conference champs. They're a battle-tested team that when it you know came down to the why they came out swinging and I think you know we're gonna have to have our A game we're gonna have to be very clean and tidy. They get their chance when face-off arrives Friday at 3 p.m. In Baltimore, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.